Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to how to clear the Wyvern Trench safely. This is actually a method that I've been using for years and years and years on official, unofficial and even single player. All you're going to need for today's video is a griffin and that is it. Don't forget to like if you find the video helpful, subscribe if you haven't already, but for now guys, let's get into it. So all you're going to need today guys is a high stamina griffin. Now you can probably put a bit of HP into it just to be safe, but essentially the stamina is the most important stat to have. So first things first guys, we're going to want to piss off some of the wyverns. Target acquired. And we're going to do that just by aggroing one. If you get the chance to grab a quick egg uh, to aggro them, do that. But as you can see, we just aggroed as many as we can to begin with. Don't worry about taking the odd hit or there. But once you've got a nice big group after you, you're going to fly straight to the sky barrier. Now if you get the opportunity to sit there for a second or two, take it because you want to get as close as possible. But as soon as the wyverns get close to the barrier, you're just going to dive down at full speed. Obviously don't land in the lava, but as you can see, boom, gone. We've just despawned the wyverns. Now, once you've done this with the full herd, it will actually give you between 5 and 10 minutes to safely fly through and check out the entire trench. If the old wyvern is still down there, or if the old wyvern respawns while you're down there, just fly straight back up to the sky barrier and zoom back down again. And there we go guys, gone again. Now what you'll find as well is once you've collected all the eggs, you can then go into the second half of the trench and start down there. And again, by the time that one's been cleared out and you've collected all the eggs again, in the first half of the trench they would actually have respawned and they would have had new eggs planted. 